are today, folks, ready for a package of thrills at the Elgin National Road Races at Elgin, Illinois. We are to see the famous automobile racing classic of a generation ago, revived after 13 years. 24 laps around a sporty eight-mile course, a 203-mile thriller over concrete, tar, and gravel roads, and around four dangerous turns every lap. The race is run under the rules and sanction of the contest board of the American Automobile Association. Here are the 3A officials getting ready for the race. There's Barney Oldfield with his hat off and a cigar in his mouth. He's official starter, a veteran of the race game. The cars are all tuned up and ready to go. So are the drivers. Most of them are veterans of the Indianapolis Speedway. Dave Evans laughs at superstition with a black kitten for a mascot. There's Ralph De Palma, the famous De Palma, back on the course for the first time since 1920 when he set the record. Cars number one and two are on the line. Both Ford V8. They're off. The 203-mile grind is on. Two more Fords push up. Dave Evans and Lou Moore at the wheel. There's the flag. Away they go. The same Barney Oldfield as when he first drove a racing car for Henry Ford. Back in the days of old 999. Wild Bill Cummings in number five, a Plymouth. And H.M. Lewis in number nine, a Dodge. Two more up. De Palma in number seven. Back on the Elgin course after 13 years. Wilbur Shaw, number eight. Both in Ford B8. Two more well-known drivers. Frank Briscoe in number 14. Fred Frame, winner at Indianapolis last year in number 10. Watch Frame. Watch him get away. Cars number six and 12. Jack Petticord and Gene Haustein. The flag drops. They're off. Two Chevrolets, number 16 and 17. Ted Chamberlain and Sam Palmer at the wheel. And here's the last, number 29, a Ford V8 with Harry Hunt at the wheel. Another 30 seconds and he's away. Now let's follow the racers around the course. These aren't really racing cars. They're stock cars, just like yours and mine, except that the fenders, windshields, and headlamps have been stripped off. That's the kind of a race the crowd wants to see, to learn just how cars like their own perform under the most grueling driving conditions. Remember, folks, the race is over roads just like you drive on yourself. Concrete, tar, gravel. Of course, you don't drive that fast, that far, but you'd like to know whether your car has the endurance, the stamina to stand up, wouldn't you? Well, watch. Now the battle is on. The drivers are fighting for the lead. Some of these cars are going at 100 miles an hour on the straightaway. The electrical timing device in the judges' stand says so. Watch them skid around this corner. That takes real driving skill and the knack of keeping the engine at work. To make that turn safely, the drivers must break down from 100 to 35 miles an hour in a few hundred feet. Only the best brakes stand up under that punishment. Watch those fellows battle for first place. Now for the second turn. That's De Palma in number seven. Those Fords are safe at any speed. Here's the famous hump. Sometimes the cars leap several feet off the ground as they shoot over the ridge. Man, here's thrills aplenty. Another turn, that's frame in Ford number 10. A driving pool. They call him the biggest money winner in racing. Now for the gravel backstretch. The most uncertain piece of road on the course. Dusty gravel treated with calcium chloride. Watch them hug the inside of the turn as they shoot over the hill. Take a tip from them. Those fellows know how to drive safely. Here's the last turn. See them hug the inside of the corner? Lots of room to skid on if they need it, and a pile of straw bales to bounce into if they miss. There's the blue flag. One more lap to go. Eight miles with a wide open throttle. Four more turns, four more skids. The low-slung Ford's under perfect control. Wasn't that a beauty? Don't you wish you could drive that way? And here's the checkered flag. Oldfield is ready. Down it goes, frame wins in a Ford V8.
203 miles in 2 hours, 32 minutes, 6 and 1 tenth seconds. 80 and 2200 miles per hour. Seven Fords take the first seven places. To the victor belong the fruits of victory. And Mrs. Frame congratulates the winner. Thank you.